Hello, everyone. So Anastrak here, continuing the workbook lessons from uh, the workbook of A Course in Miracles. Uh, and today we're continuing on uh, with review four uh, and lesson 143. And um, in these, in this review, there the lessons um, here are very short. So um, I will be doing a reflection and um, adding some further information from the uh, workbook companion uh, written by Robert Perry and Alan Watson. So today's um, two lessons that we're, yeah, we, we are reviewing are from lesson 125 and 126. And today's um, 125, the, the lesson is in quiet, I receive God's word today. And 126 is all that I give is given to myself. So with regards to 125, you know, in quiet, I receive God's word today. You know, let us consider that we are constantly distracted by the world, by the the ego thought system it's constantly constantly playing out in our mind when we really take a look and observe and again as the course says we are far too tolerant of mind wandering so and this is why this is why it's so important we need to take time to be quiet you know to surrender to stop and, and, and to listen for the voice for God, to be able to receive his word. And, um, you know, th this, uh, this takes us really choosing to uh, take this time to, to discipline ourselves to do so. And, you know, as we're doing these lessons, Day by day, it, it's a form of discipline as well. And I mentioned it again, you know, repetition is, is the mother of knowledge. So there's a lot of repetition we may or may not be seeing as we're doing this course, but it takes discipline, devotion and dedication. So it says, or what I wanna say next is that, you know, when we are caught up, uh, when we're caught up in the ego thought system, attempting to, to um, um, to solve our own problems uh, that, you know, uh, particularly from the I know mind, from the past, from everything that we know, from the ego thought system, we can't hear the voice for God. We can't hear the voice for God at all. So what, what the, what the, um, commentary is telling us from again from the uh, workbook companion is that God's thoughts are God's thought creates and and we were created when God thought of us his mind extended outward I'm going to say this again God's thought creates we were created when God thought of us his mind extended outward and what was in his mind extended into and became our minds. Remember the other theme, which I missed out on saying at the very beginning, the whole theme of each lesson is my mind holds only what I think with God. That's an important line. Sorry, I forgot to express that at the very beginning. So, you know, it said, um, speaking again, it says here, speaking of the main thought, my mind hold, holds only what I think with God. The review introduction says, it is this thought by which the father gave creation to the son, establishing the son as the co-creator with God, with himself. So our minds must therefore be, uh, be like God's, like his, creating like his by extending our thoughts outward. We are God's thoughts. And his thoughts have his nature. Remember, we don't have two minds. We only have one mind, and that's the mind of God. That's the only real mind that we have. So it says here, and this comes from, from the text from chapter seven. Uh, and it says, 
As God's creative thought proceeds from him to you, so must your creative thought proceed from you to your creations. Only in this way can all creative power extend outward. God's accomplishments are not yours, but yours are like his. He created the sonship and you increase it. You have the power to add to the kingdom, though not to add to the creator of the kingdom. You claim this power when you become vigilant only for God and his kingdom. By accepting this power as yours, you have learned to remember what you are. And again, that's from, from the text, chapter seven, section one, paragraph two, line three to nine. So it goes on to say, as we receive God's word today, so must we give it. If, if we receive it, if we receive it, we will give it because what we receive is a thought of sharing. You know, we were created by this sharing of thought, this extending of God's self. Sharing or giving ourselves is our heritage, the essence of what we are. In the, in the first thought today, you know, that which is, uh, in quiet, I receive God's word today, uh, are the words I receive. And in the second thought are the words I give, which all that I give is given to myself. So accepting or remembering uh, what we are means realizing we are beings who extend, who give, who share. We extend life, love. We are created by love. This is why the Course places such stress on accepting our function as saviors of the world. Now, in accepting this, we are accepting our higher self as God created it, our higher, holy, innocent self, as our, our brothers and sisters, they're holy and innocent. So we are merely taking place in the creative process, choosing no longer to block the flow of love from God to us and through us to the world. So again, I'm going to read that. We are merely taking our place in, creative, in the creative process, choosing to no longer block the flow of love from God to us. And through us to the world. Now, again, the course is, is not about teaching us how, how to love. The course is helping us to recognize our blocks to love, which are all based in the ego thought system. So it says from, again, from chapter seven, section one, paragraph three, less, uh, line three to four, it says, to create is to love. Love extends outward simply because it cannot be contained. When you're in that space of love, that's what's showing up. It's there. It's who you are. And, and you're extending it when you're in that space, when you're in that mindset. You know, that your mind holds only what you think with God. So from lesson 126, you know, again, all that I give is given to myself. You know, I'm reading here from the first paragraph of that, of that lesson. And it says, today's idea, all that I give is given to myself. It, it, it is completely alien to the ego and the thinking of the world. And it is crucial to the thought reversal 
this 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 year particular lesson all that is given it's given to me is crucial to the thought reversal that this course will bring about we need to gain that understanding that all that i give is given to myself if you believe this statement there would be no problem to complete forgiveness certainty of goal and sure direction you would understand the means by which salvation comes to you and would not hesitate to use it now. And then further in that lesson, in paragraph eight, you know, with this lesson, again, we try to understand the truth that giver and receiver are the same. You will need help, it says here, to make this meaningful because it is so alien to the thoughts to which you are accustomed. But the help, the help of the Holy Spirit you need is there. And give the Holy Spirit, give God your faith today and ask him that he share your practicing in truth today. And if you, if you only if you only catch a glimpse of the release that lies in the idea we practice for today, this is a day of glory for the world. So, you know, as you go forward to continue these practices, you may only get a glimpse, but I guarantee you, because of my own experience, these glimpses build and you become much more aware and conscious of when you have been triggered, when you have fallen out of your peace, when you are stressed, stressed, when you are trying to figure out all your problems on your own. And you use the practices, the practice and practices uh, of forgiveness with a discourse continually stresses it's a, the main core of this course is you know to be able to um you know forgive yourself you ask the holy spirit for help to forgive yourself you know for unknowingly used your partner or your friend or your sister or sickness or pain or uh, financial um, scarcity using any of those you only use them you ask for help to recognize that so that you can forgive that Be recognizing that that is what has separated you from god's love and from who you are as a holy self okay that's the part that's so important to keep practicing, to keep practicing. The undoing process takes time. Be patient with yourself. Have faith, it says in here, to have faith that you will be directed to the truth. All right. That's lesson 143. And I look forward to being with you in the next um, video for lesson 144. And in, in the meantime here, please, as we're concluding, um, go and like, push the like button here below, uh, here on YouTube. Please comment, as I said over and over again, even if you just put a heart there, that's going to be so helpful to the algorithms. And I really do appreciate your comments as well. Um, so that's where you would put your heart, put the heart. Um, yeah. What do you call it? You know, put a heart there. <laughs> and um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And also, I do so appreciate your donations to continue um, building this channel. Um, and uh, yeah, that, that's it for right now. Uh, go below, okay, uh, in, in this video here in YouTube, and you'll see the description. And press on a little bit further, go down and press on more it's highlighted or darkened. And then as you press on more, you will see how to go about donating 
and also you'll see some uh, references. The reference to this particular workbook is also down there. All right, I say down there below. Okay, uh, I look forward to being with you in the next video. Until then, much love from my heart to yours. Have a love-filled day.